I welcome you all to another Friday tonic. This is Language Joe's, an academy of knowledge economy. You know, Fridays like this, we discuss important issues that govern our lives that are very, very critical to our existence. Tuesday, I teach one of my core courses in philosophy of religion and theology. My name is Josephine and I am your digital professor. So whichever part of the world you are viewing me now, let me say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And before I go on, let's join languages. I welcome you back. If you are just joining me, my name is Josephine and I am a digital professor and this channel is known as Language Jobs, an academy of knowledge economy. Today's a Friday when I serve you Friday tonic. The tonic we are drinking today or sharing today is titled Mirror Images. Yeah. We all love mirrors. I don't know if there's any other person who will not look at yourself. When you're dressed up to go out or go anywhere, you look at the mirror to see how well you look at. So what do I mean by mirror images? Am I talking about the images that are mirrored or physical symbol of mirrors? Or I'm talking about somebody else? I remember in 2002, I wrote a synopsis and a script on mirror images. At that time, I wanted to turn it into a home video. One way thing or the other, I was unable to conclude it. I wasn't part of them. I'm not in the entertainment industry. I just love to write. And even though we assembled a lot of artists then, back home in my own country, Nigeria, everything looked like set. Even getting a kind of a, a supporting loan from my bank then, we were unable to shoot the movie. That's a story for another time. And that is not what we are discussing today. But I want to discuss certain issues that are part of that story. A brief or an overview of the synopsis of that mirror images. Because what I mean by mirror images and what does it pertain to each and every one of us? Mirror image is centered on a particular principle. And I want us to know that it is centered on circle of social history and principles that govern human effectiveness. It's centered on circles of social history and principles that govern human effectiveness. We get to that very soon. And in order to highlight on the points I want to make on these principles and say further, I'll be sharing very slide, many more slides, not more than four or five slides, so that you can follow me as I'm discussing this issue. It's so important to each and every one of us. Because if you, we are not careful, these principles, if we deviate from these principles, because it's like you have like two parallel lines 
one to the left, one to the right. And like I used to say, maybe when you have the free will to make a choice, you reap the consequences of your own choice. So just give me a second while we, I share that slides. As mirror images is centered on circles of social history and principles that govern human effectiveness. What am I talking about? What am I saying? These principles that I'm referring to, they surface time and time again. And the degree to which people decide to recognize and live in harmony with them moves them towards either survival or stability or disintegration and destruction. And that's why I want to highlight and educate this Friday, these principles, because if you don't recognize these principles, we might by our own hands be designing our survival and stability or design the disintegration and destruction. It's a free will, it's a choice. But these principles, they surface in all endeavors time and time again. And if a person fails to recognize these principles and act accordingly, then you might lead yourself to distribution or destruction or lead yourself to survival and stability. Do you see why some people succeed and why some, some people always fail in certain things? These are the principles that govern human effectiveness. Examples of these principles are, one, principle of fairness, out of which our whole concept of equity and justice is developed. When we talk about the rule of law, you can't talk about rule of law without talking about equity and justice, principle of fairness. If you fail, in upholding principle of fairness, then you are stewing yourself in principle of unfairness. You think you are doing it for somebody else, but you are. You'll be directly, the consequences will directly affect you. The second principle, principles of integrity and honesty. The principles of integrity and honesty create the foundation of trust, which is essential to cooperation and long-term personal and interpersonal growth. There's no way you can grow or develop in a kind of monumental positive way without integrity and honesty. When people, know you to be a dishonest person, someone who lacks integrity. Your growth can only be superficial, could be falsehood, cannot be true growth or true development. The top principle, principle of human dignity. The fourth, principle of quality or excellence. People must know you for your quality, for your excellence, in whatever you lay your hands on, in whatever you are doing. They must be able to vouch for your excellence, vouch for your quality. The principle of growth, the process of releasing potential and developing talent with the accompanying need for principles such as patience, nurturance, and encouragement. No matter what, I mean, we keep on turning around and saying the same thing because it's all basic. When we talk about law of karma, when we talk about you reap what you sow, 
you harvest what you plant. There's no way you can plant maize and want to harvest beans. It's impossible. All these principles that enumerate the five principles I enumerated are in that my movie I call mirror images. Even though, like I told you, the movie was never released, but I turned it into an ebook, and that ebook is available on Amazon. If you want to pick it up, it's still in the. Uh, script form, even though before the script is the synopsis of the of the thing, but it's still there. You can't encourage me. Pick up a copy, very very small amount, <laughs> so small. It's not even enough. The money you will pick it up for the ebook is not enough even to buy you any kind of snacks. But you'll be sowing a seed, and you'll be reaping a lot of good fruits if you buy that ebook on amazon just a mirror images by josephine shoboyejo you see it on amazon so what i'm saying in effect is that we are all mirror images of one another your children are your mirror images and that is why they are molded in your concept at times and that's why when your home is a violent home, there's no peace in your home. The children that come out of that thing, which is a result of emotional abuse or neglect and things like that, they have the long psychological consequences when they are adults. We show ourselves the shameful weakness of human nature and the decisive triumph of the human spirit. A life of integrity is the most fundamental source of personal worth. If you lack integrity, you are worth nothing. And I want to repeat this. If you lack integrity, you are worthless. You are worth nothing. Because the life of integrity is the most fundamental source of personal worth. Peace of mind comes when our life is in harmony with true principles and values in no other way. And in the words of Doug, I ask George, you cannot, and I want you to underline this because the quote is very, very essential. You cannot play with the animal in you without becoming holy animal. You cannot play with falsehood without forfeiting your right in truth. You cannot play with cruelty without losing your sensitivity of mind. He who wants to keep his garden tidy does not reserve a plot for weeds. Hello? This is essential. And a lot of people overlook this. And when in turn, they see a lot of negativity occurring in their personal life. They think somebody is doing They don't look inward to see what are the kind of principles have they been upholding. What are the kind of things they have been doing. Have they been playing with animals? Because there's no way you can play with an animal without becoming only animal yourself. And that person be playing with falsehood all over his life. There are people whose fault will start with evil declaration of their age. They will never declare their real age. For personal work, for personal growth or develop undue advantage. Let me put that word, undue advantage. They manipulate the back day and cut off. Some even cut off as much as like 10 years from the real back day. But can you, your natural development, your hormones, your body system and everything that reacts accordingly to age, even if you have the money, 
to want to do it. It will still tell. So you cannot play with falsehood without forfeiting your right in your forfeit your right in truth. And you cannot play with cruelty. If you think you are wicked, you are cruel. <laughs> you are losing the sensitivity in your mind. The reality of these principles becomes evident to anyone who thinks deeply and examines the circles of social history. The degree to which you recognize and live in harmony with these principles moves you toward either survival or stability or disintegration or destruction. I said that earlier on. So my clarion call to Christians and let me say, to all believers of all faiths who truly believe in God, you concentrate on the absolutes and essentials of your godly faith. For mine, as a Christian, I would say of my Christianity, not forsaken, the purposeful, purposeful non-essentials. If you fear the Lord, if you truly believe in that God, the creator of all things, and you fear him, you will keep your sinful nature in check. You will not be cruel, you will not be wicked, you will not play with falsehood, you will uphold the truth at all times. Because the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. As you realize the incredible depth of God's love and grace, the emphasis on God's fear will lead you to eagerly pleasing him. And there's no way you can please God with falsehood. Because it's falsehood that Sarah, who was arch angel Lucifer, played with and was driven away from the side of God. There's no way you can please God with falsehood. You have to uphold that truth. That's what I have to share with you today. And like I said, the principles, they govern human effectiveness. And these principles, you can learn more with the story, an original story I've written in script format. Like I said, it's available on ebook on Amazon. Just go on Ibu Mirror Images by Josephine Shoboyejo. You will see it there. And then you will read more, you will enjoy, you'll be entertained, but basically you'll be educated. I want to encourage us to uphold the truth at all times, to be governed with these principles that are centered on social history, social circles of history that govern human effectiveness. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for joining me. And please, if you are new to my channel, click on the subscribe button and subscribe and turn on your notification so that you can receive notifications from me. Join me on Tuesday for another core teaching and next Friday for another very interesting Friday tonic. <laughs>